Now to the age, um, and the age has the headline, masks stay as elective surgery ban fuels anger. I mean, the fallout. We saw it here in Western Australia too. When you have these lockdowns, the fallout on elective mm. surgery and elective surgery, Lisa, whenever I hear that term, it's almost a misnomer because people think it's something, oh, you can wait. You know, there are people hobbling around in absolute agony, needing knee surgery or shoulder surgeries, shoulder surgeries. It's not, it's, it, it's not something like um, cosmetic surgery and even some of that's really necessary. Melbourne's two-week strict lockdown <laughs> ended just before midnight. Um, that's tonight, Melbourne. But its restrictions have mm -hmm. eased. As restrictions have eased, anger has been brewing over apparent inconsistencies in some of the rules, including the ongoing ban of non-urgent elective surgery. Melburnians must continue to wear masks outdoors after health authorities revealed a new cluster of four people from the one family, here we go again in Reservoir, including two elderly people that picked up the virus, and on it goes. I mean, you have to feel for the people of Melbourne, Lisa. And you're right, you're spot on. It's not, we're not talking about elective surgery being somebody going in to get breast augmentation. We're talking about people who have most likely been on waiting lists for a very, very long time you know, with conditions that are debilitating. And this surgery is what they need to, to make their life better, to ease pain. So the fact that elective surgery has been impacted is just ridiculous because you would think that of anywhere that people would be safe, it would be in hospitals. But then you take that up to the next level. So you're out by yourself, walking your dog, getting exercise, but oh, you no. have to have a mask. Oh, it, 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 you oh, know, no. no wonder people oh, no. are furious. Oh. And when you, you, you watch, I'm watching Sky during the day and the various business owners who have been on, be they from restaurants or from yeah. cafes or gym, gym owners, owners yep. who are just saying, you know, hand over fist, oh. losing money. There was one cafe owner who was saying, with, even with a limit of 50 people, if he reached capacity that he was allowed to have 50 people, he would still be down, it was ten or $20,000 a week out of pocket. How do you continue that? You know, they're trying to do the right thing by oh, their staff. And look, um, uh, absolutely, but we talk about this on, on programs like these and say the people who make these decisions haven't lost a dime. They haven't lost their jobs. Exactly. And they haven't lost any income. Mm -hmm. And we are not all in this together.